Okay, we're going to look at naming ethers. Now, if you remember, an ether is a functional group where we have a carbon attached to an oxygen, which is attached to another carbon. Okay, now, you're not going to meet that com uh, very complicated examples of ethers, so we'll keep it as simple as possible. Okay, and the way that we normally deal with ethers is to think of the group as being attached to the longer chain. So if I colour this group in, okay, we're going to consider it being attached to a longer chain. Okay, So we have a methyl group with its oxygen on it, and it's attached to the longer chain is this ethyl group. And the way we do this is we say, we call this methoxy ethane. So we now have methoxy tells us that we have this ether group here and that it's uh, one carbon long, so it's a methyl group and it's on an ethane chain. So this is methoxy ethane. Okay, let's look at a slightly longer example. Okay, here. We have this change, we have one, two, three, four on this side, and we have two carpets here. So this is the, the bit that we're going to treat as being attached to at the front end. This has one, two carbons on it. So this is ethoxy, and this is one, two, three, four, ethoxy butane. Just like that. And as normal, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you an example where we have uh, a bit of branching happening. So if we have this, and uh, this time we put a, a methyl group there, say. Okay. The uh, ethoxy group. The ether is a functional group and therefore it's the most important part of the molecule. So we start numbering from there. So that is carbon number oops, carbon number one. And we have one, two, three. So the, this methyl group is on carbon three. Okay. So this becomes, and remember we're doing this in alphabetical order. So it's one ethoxy three methyl and it's butane chain so it's butane. So as I say you're not going to meet any complicated any really complicated examples of ethers. Okay and these simple rules will cover most of the ones that you're going to meet. Uh, there are a few simple however uh, ones that you are likely to meet in in the teaching lab and I'm just going to introduce you to it introduce you to the idea very briefly because there's a slightly different way of of naming slightly common ones okay. we have here an ether that has two methyl groups on it okay and instead of calling this um, well we could call it methoxy methane so we could call it that okay um, and this one we could call it ethoxy ethane yeah they're still perfectly valid names nobody nobody ever calls them that okay and it's much more common to see this as dimethyl ether and diethyl ether. Okay. You will almost certainly meet diethyl ether in the teaching labs where you might actually see it just being called ether. Okay. So these are these are uh, special cases where you have sort of simple alkyl chains that are symmetric on this ether. Okay. Um, but the nomenclature on the previous slides is how we, you should really think about naming these.